Welcome back to the course Learn Blockchain. Today we will be learning about segregated witness SegWit. You may have heard about this term. Today we will have brief overview on SegWit. We won't go deep to the technical details behind it, but briefly we will discuss what is SegWit and why it is important. Okay, so this is our block. It includes block number, timestamp, nonce, previous hash, hash, and other things. All those combined are called block headers except for the transaction in bitcoin there is a limit the size of the block is limited to one megabyte this was included in the original design there are speculation for the reason of that main one is if you have block size too small you cannot include much transaction in it this result in bandwidth problem people need to wait longer time to add their transaction on the other hand if you make the block size too large the network is going to be slow because whole ledger has to be shared to the whole network. Everybody must have copy of a blockchain. Therefore, when a new block is added to a chain, it takes lots of time to distribute to the whole network. So neither small nor large, Bitcoin has one megabyte block size. It was good, but in 2017, people were facing slow network and sometimes transactions get backward. So how do they solve this problem? How can we get more bandwidth in the network? And there are a couple of options, hard fork and soft fork. We will talk more about fork in section 3 of this course. Well, hard fork was proposed to increase the block size, which resulted into Bitcoin Cash. The soft fork was segregated witness, which was like an upgrade to the existing system. So what segregated witness does is, it looks at the content of an individual transaction. Here is our transaction. And we know from previous videos, the transaction includes from, to, amount, then signatures and public key for security and privacy, and allows notes and miners for verifying who has signed the signature, is it the private key behind this public key or not. This is all good and well, but the issue here is, signatures and public key end up taking 60% of whole transaction size. So what was purpose is, to take this heavy part out of the transaction, which is also called script sig and send it through its own messaging service to the network. It will still be linked to each block and transaction, but it will go through the network separate way. And that way we save some space. Now we can add more number of transactions in a block. SegWit does not increase the block size but reduces the transaction size so that more number of transactions can be added to the block. The SegWit was adopted by the blockchain on 24th of August 2017. So this is the brief overview of segregated witness. The reason for calling it segregated witness is, witness is considered as synonym for signature. So it means segregating the signature or witness, hence segregated witness segwit. Okay and I would like to end this video with an additional reading, understanding segwit block size by Jimmy Sung. I'll provide the link in the description and on this note, I will see you in the next video.